and says, you know what, Steve, I don't really have a, I mean, I know kind of, kind of sort of what I'm here to do. How do yeah. you help them go deeper and find yeah. and articulate or write down their meaning and purpose? Mm. Brilliant question. And we've got a whole two hours that we do 25 questions that we ask mainly executives and CEOs, because I find what happens is they fall the hardest because a lot of their significance and meaning and purpose is based on their position in a corporate. And then often what happens, they, they realize their purpose, they're in that area. And then all of a sudden, they've got no meaning and they've got no significance and they start using either narcotics or they start using other things to deal with that sort of very emptiness. So one of the big things we do is we do the weekend test and it's quite a, if, if people are listening out there, it's just take a moment and maybe stop if you, you don't have to close your eyes. But what I do is I say, picture that you've got a weekend conference, Dr. Jill, okay, and it's a full day workshop on the Saturday and Sunday, and you have to entertain guests on Saturday nights and Sunday, so you get your week ready, Dr. Jill, and you get everything done, and even your family around you decide to go away for the weekend because they know how busy you're going to be and that you have to entertain people at night, and your close friends are just out of town now, they've gone on holiday, and so on a Friday night, you get an SMS from the organizer saying, that the conference has been cancelled. Now you wake up on the Saturday morning, all your commitments, obligations have been done, you've got it sorted, your family's away, your friends are away. How do you spend your time over that weekend? And I get people just to write. They do this, they do this, they do this, they do that. They spend time here, they spend money, this is where they go, this is what they consume online. How do they spend their Instagram feed? What do they do for Google? What websites do they go? So we plot what happens over 48 hours. And that often gives us themes and it gives us sort of talking points in terms of where people would spend their time with no commitments whatsoever. So that's a really important exercise. People love that exercise. And they realize, oh, well, if I've got no commitments, I spend a lot of time reading health books and downloading, you know, ordering health things online and finding ways that I can improve my health and others. And, you know, going to a health shop or going to a bookstore that, and reading the health books in the store. So these that's a simple exercise. I think it's a profound exercise. And then a second one that I do is really what would your eulogy test is what do you want people to say about you at your funeral? And, and that's a very important test because Maya Angelou said this. He's, she said, people will not remember what you said or did, but how you made them feel. And we buy hacked that and optimized that too. People won't remember what you said or did, but how you made them feel, think, and act. And so how do you want people to speak of you at your funeral in terms of how you made them feel, think, and act? And those two very basic tests, and there's another probably 23 odd, we've got a whole 25 questionnaire process, but those two are probably the mainstay that I use with clients with regards to them uncovering their purpose, which is a process. It's not just, oh, well, one day I do an exercise and then I know what my purpose is, but uncovering their purpose so that they can use it.